welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we will discuss some different types of questions based on the topic trigonometric ratios trigonometry hi everyone this is yasser arfat i am here with some other interesting topic in mathematics if you are watching my videos first time please subscribe my channel i upload more videos for class 10 cbse students if you like my videos don't forget to press the like button and also don't forget to share my videos to your friends we were studying the chapter introduction to trigonometry if you didn't watch my previous videos the link to the playlist of introduction to trigonometry chapter is given in the description of this video so go and check up also the links to playlist of other chapters are also given in the description today we will discuss some different uh, types of questions taking some product or some difference or trigonometric ratios uh, such questions we will discuss now and taking some squares also okay this example 3 i think we can discuss now question is like this consider triangle acb right angled at c in which ab is equal to 29 units and bc is equal to 21 units and angle abc is equal to theta theta have you seen this uh, letter anywhere theta is it first time yes sir okay so theta is a greek letter uh, uh, so we have seen alpha beta gamma theta is also a greek letter usually we use for uh, angles in mathematics to represent some variable names uh, for some angles usually we take this letter nothing special we can use any letter no problem but uh, it's very uh, sim uh, common we choose theta for angles in mathematics okay so uh, a triangle here right angle that is c so i draw a right triangle here right angle that is c so a b c a b is equal to 29 is given 21 29 unit and b c is also given 21 b c is given that 21 okay and we want to find these values cos square theta plus sin square theta and cos square theta minus sin square theta these two values we want to find out okay here it is given that uh, cos square theta theta is an angle angle abc is equal to theta means where will be theta at b right okay so th theta will be here right okay. abc angle abc so the middle letter is the vertex of the angle when we name an angle right so b the angle at b will be theta we can mark here like this okay so we want to find out cos square theta plus sin square theta and also cos square theta minus sin square theta so before that we want to get ac so using pythagoras theorem we can calculate ac so we know ab square is equal to ac square plus bc square substitute the given values ab square that is 29 square right 29 square is equal to ac square we don't know ac square plus 21 square right bc is 21 so what is 29 square 841 841 one. right so uh, some some values like this i think you can uh, do in your mind because 29 you can take it as 30 minus 1 so 29 square is 30 minus 1 all square you apply the identity identity we, this we can do in our, our mind 30 square is 900 Minus two into thirty into one, so that is sixty. Then plus one square, that is one. So nine hundred minus sixty is eight hundred forty. Then add one, so eight hundred forty one will be the twenty nine square. Then AC square we don't know. Plus twenty one square what will come? Four forty one. Four forty one. Four forty one. Okay, this is also using a plus b all square. This identity twenty plus one all square, right? Twenty one square is twenty plus one all square. Twenty square is four hundred. 2 into 20 into 1 is 40. Then plus 1 square, that is 1. So 441 will come. 
So move for 141 to left, you will get 841 minus 441 is equal to AC square. Then subtract. What will you get? 400. 400. So what will be AC? 20. Yes. Root to 400, we all know that that is 20. So 20 unit. We got AC is equal to 20. Okay. So before coming to this expression, I think first we can write a sine theta and cos theta separate. Okay. What is sine theta here in this picture? Sine theta. AC by AB. AC by AB. AC by AB. A sine theta will be AC by AB, right? And give values. AC by AB. 20 by 29. 20 by? 20 by 29. 29. Okay. Then cos theta. What will be cos theta in the picture? BC by AC. BC by, by AB. AB is correct. Okay. Then give values. 21 by 29. 21 by 29. Okay. So we cannot reduce this because they are co-prime. 21 and 29. And 20 and 29 also co-prime. Okay. So now I think we can do the first one. First sub question is cos square theta plus sin square theta. We want to find the value. Okay. So first one cos square theta plus sin square theta. Okay. So I had said all, all already before in one lesson. What you mean by cos square theta? That is simply cos theta the square, right? I had told before. Yes. This is some short way we write cos theta square. Cos square theta. Okay. So cos square theta. Cos theta. We know cos theta is 21 by 29. So cos square theta will be 21 oh. by 29 the square. Okay. 21 by 29 the square. Plus sine square theta. Sine theta we have written here 20 by 29. You take its square. So 20 by 29 the square. Okay. Next step I think we can do here. If we can expand here. What is 21 square? Numerator square by denominator square. 40, right? 40, 441. Yes. Uh, 21 square already we have written here. 441. So 441 divided by 29 square. We have eight, turned here. 841. Yes, 841. Plus, what is 20 200. square? 400 divided 400. by 29 square, same. Okay. So here the denominators are equal. So addition is simple. What will come? 841. 841 yes. by 841. Yes, you add numerators and take the same denominator. Okay. So we can write 841. 41. Divided by 841. Same numerator and denominator. So, value is? 1. 1, one, one right? One. Yes. One. 1. So, cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1. This is very important trigonometric identities. We will study some of the trigonometric identities later. So, this is very important. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to cos square theta is equal to 1. Very important identity. We can apply, yes. This we can prove using some algebra. This is not proof because these numbers are taken. So this is not a general proof. And this is, we can say this is just a verification. Okay. So sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Okay. So we now do the second one. Second one is not any trigonometric identity anyhow. Anyhow, we can calculate the value cos square theta. So second one I shall write here. Okay. So cos square theta minus sin square theta. Okay. So what is cos square theta? 21 by 29 square, right? And minus sin square theta. 20 by 29 square. Okay. 21 by 29 square X expand. Yeah. You give the values of 421 square 29 square. 441 by 841. Minus 20 by 29 square. 441. 841. So here the denominator has same. So subtraction is very simple. So subtract the numerators. 41 by 41 by same denominator. 841. I think they are, they are co-prime, we cannot reduce this. So we can underline here. 
so there is nothing special for the second one but the first one is very important sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 for any value theta any angle theta okay so this is very important so see if the angle is taken as a we can write a sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 this is very important we will come to this later okay so i think this is clear very simple we move to one next question example number 4 in a right triangle abc right angle that b if tan a is equal to 1 then verify that 2 sin a cos a is equal to 1 if tan a is equal to 1 then verify that 2 sin a into cos a is equal to 1 Okay, so I think we can have a our figure here. Okay, suppose the name is ABC right angle dot B. Okay, ABC right angle dot B. We have given that tan A is equal to one. Okay, we want to verify whether uh, two tan sine A into cos A is equal to one or not. Okay, we can verify here. So we can start from the given uh, value. Given that tan A is equal to one, in the triangle, what is tan A? BC by AB. BC by AB, right? Okay. BC by AB. So BC by AB should be one because tan A is equal to one. Okay. So a number divided by another number is one. So what's the relation between these two numbers? They both are equal. Same. They both are same, right? Only when a quantity is divided by same quantity, we will get one. Okay, so BC should be equal to AB. Okay, so tan A. When you see tan A is equal to one, I think no need to do this. You in your mind, it should be in your mind. The perpendicular sides of the right triangles are equal. Then only the tan A tan value will become one. Okay, so BC is equal to AB. So I I think in one step itself you can write this uh, since tan A is equal to one, this is equal to AB. Okay, okay. So here we got the ratio. Equal means the ratio is one is to one. BC is to AB is one is to one. So we can take uh, suppose this AB length is some uh, k or something, then BC will be also k because the ratio is one is to one. The same length will come for BC. So, in terms of k, we can find out the hypotenuse. Then we can write the sine a and cos a separate. Then we we can verify this. Okay. So apply the Pythagoras theorem here. A c square is equal to two k square. Yeah, two. We can do here. A c square is equal to a b square plus b c square. We apply the given value, taken values. So, k square plus k square. K square. Yes, that is. 2k square, 2k square. AC square is equal to 2k square. So you apply AC. What will be AC here? Okay. Root 2k. 2k. Root 2k. Root 2k square. Yes, uh, you can split roots. So you will get to root 2 into root k, k square. Root, what is root k square? K. K root 2. Yes. So k root 2 or root 2k. Any any how you can. Read it. K root two. Okay, so the hypotenuse will be K root two. Now you can first write sine a and cos a. I think uh, first uh, direct you can apply two into sine a cos a. Two into sine a cos a. What will come? Two into sine a. What will come? Sine a. C by AC. B C by AC. B C by AC. I think here we can write sine a is equal to B C by A C. Give the values. K by K root two. K by K root two. So K can be cancelled. So one by root two. Root two. Similarly, what is cos A? K by K. A B by C. A B by A C. A B by A C. Give values. K by K root two. K can be cancelled. So one by root two. Okay. So here, two into sine a into cos a will be two into for sine a we can substitute one by root two, and for cos a also substitute same. That is also one by root two. Okay. So 
when we multiply two fractions numerator and denominator by denominator and denominator right so in the numerator this 2 you can take as 2 by 1 so 2 into 1 into 1 that is 2 divided by root 2 into root 2 what is root 2 into two. root 2 2, two. two right uh, i shall write in two steps okay 2 by root 2 into root 2 will be 2 root to 2 square is 2 right so 2 by 2 what is 2 by 2 1 1 so we verified right so 2 sin i in the cos i is equal to 1 we have verified okay since hypotenuse is the longest side in a rectangle, the value of sin a and cos a is always less than 1. This is some particular case in bracket you can see. Some in sp some special case, the value will become 0 and also 1. We will discuss later. Okay, and uh, one another. The, the, this is some picture in triangle AMP and triangle ABC in triangle A and Q. Or in all these right triangle, you can see sine a are same and cos a are same and tan a are same. All six trigonometric ratios will be same in all these three right triangles in the picture. So that means sine value of an angle is a constant, whatever the size of the right triangle may be. That's written here. Okay, the value of the trigonometric ratios of an angle do not vary with the length of the side of the triangle if the angle remains the same. Okay.